Tonight's NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race at Darlington to kick off throwback weekend was a pretty good race with Christian Eckes taking home the win over William Byron, Raja Karuth, and others. It was a pretty clean race through the first two stages with the only cautions being for the stages and then chaos broke out late. Christian Neckes basically had to win this race two or three times. Corey Heim and Haley Deegan both made extremely questionable strategy calls and as most truck races tend to do, a lot of people wrecked at the end. We're going to recap it all. Coming up next on the Spotter Stand. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Spotter Stand YouTube channel. And welcome to the NASCAR Post Race Show for the 2023 Buckle Up South Carolina 200 at Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina. Christian Eckes gets his second win of the year and if you're if you don't have this guy on your radar you do now um just an incredible job from him tonight Corey heim looked like the dominant truck early on he only finishes eighth though made a, a bad strategy call late in the race in my opinion um but christian Eckes gets the win and again this is a pretty calm race through the first two stages um heim won stage one or sorry Eckes won stage one byron won stage two it was pretty clean um, or wait, did Heim win stage one? I'm sorry, I didn't get to see all this race. Uh, who did win stage? Okay, yeah, it was, I guess, in stage one, Byron stage two, okay. Um, but you look at the results, and it's Stuart Friesen, Tanner Gray up there, Hosevar up there. But Heim and Eckes and Byron, those are probably the three best trucks. Not surprised that Byron was up there. He had to drive his way up through the field, though, only qualified like ninth or tenth. Um, Heim won the pole, was fast all night. Eckes started up near the front, was fast all night. Um, but Eckes, I think, deserved to win this race. Um, had to win it like three times. Cautions kept coming out, and I was about to just scream um, when the last one came out, supposedly for a end figure. But rather than going to overtime and end of the race, NASCAR did make the right call. It took him a little longer to make it um, than I guess you would like. But oh well, you know, Christian Eckes, though, does get the win, his second of the season. And if I had to pick a championship for, I think I'd still put Zane in there, but Zane Smith really didn't run all that good tonight. Caught up in a wreck late with Matt Crafton and, uh, who was that in the nine? Cody Rollball or whoever was in the nine truck tonight. Um, but probably Zane, Eckes, probably Corey Heim with how fast he's been, uh, fast he's been. And, oh, probably Ty Majeski just because he's been really consistent. Uh, Colby Howard was in the nine truck. Thor Sport tonight, though, really didn't run all that well. Surprising. You know, I said they had seen to watch. Rhodes, Crafton, both uh, uh, Deegan had the lead late, but it was only on a strategy call. I want to get to those strategy calls before we get to the results. Um, what, is, what was Corey Himes crew chief thinking? I know he was in the lead, but he was in the top five, top ten. I mean, I know he finished eighth, but... Man, he fell back to like 20th. I know it all worked out okay, I guess. I know they have a, already have a win. Not too worried about points. I just didn't get it. Um, and I didn't get it for D and either. I mean, she finished 22nd anyway. It didn't matter. But she was running 20th all night. I like the, the aggressiveness, but you you know you're not going to get anything out of it. It's Darlington. You're on really old tires. You're not going to do anything. And by the way, if you notice, my hat's a little different. Stuff around me is a little different. It's throwback weekend, so I'm throwing it back uh, in the best way that I can. Um, interesting strategy calls there. The coverage tonight was awful. Jamie Little's fine as an announcer, but holy cow, they spent more time talking about the, the paint schemes than they did showing the battle for the win late. It was Byron vs. Eckes. It was epic. I mean, going cat and mouse back and forth. That's great. Show off the throwback scenes, but do that early in the race, or here's an idea before the race. I liked having Mario Andretti in the booth. That was fun, but the lack of coverage of important it took them like five ten seconds before they actually um realized like wrecks were going on and i'm not sure if they're even at the track some weeks they're in the studio i mean i i don't get fox's coverage especially the truck series it's just it's been abysmal announcing's fine pit reporting's great as always with fox Man, their camera work and how slow they are to react to some things. How they just ignore battles for the lead or pit road sometimes just really ticks me off. 
Um, but I digress. Christian Eckes gets the win, his second of the year. Stuart Free is named much needed second place finish. Tanner Gray in third continues his strong year. Byron in fourth. I picked him to win, just didn't have it at the end. And, and the, the bottom lane was clearly the, the best lane on restarts tonight, at least for Eckes. Surprising. Normally you'd think the top lane would be, but he just powered it off in turn one every single time on these restarts. Uh, Carson Osvar snuck up in there in the fifth. Raja made, well, first he dumped Osvar. Not intentional, but rookie mistake. Um, and then he made a great move around Deegan late when she was on old tires. Finished a solid P6. Bubba on P7. Really never threatened. Uh, Heim in P8. Dean Thompson, another great night in ninth. Caden Honeycutt, top 10. Nick Sanchez in 11th. Fastest in practice. And got into some people tonight. It was basically everybody in the back half field. Everybody wrecked. I mean, nobody too notable aside from Smith and Kraft involved in one. But good grief. I mean, just wreck fest. Demol Demolition Derby at the end. Crafton in 12th, Ross Chastain in 13th, again, never really threatened. Enfinger in 14th, Ankrum 15th, Corey LaJoy 16th, Colby Howard 17th, Ben Rhodes in 18th. Uh, you have uh, Daniel Dye in 19th. What is Daniel Dye going to do something? Drive for GMS and he's been awful this year. I get it's his rookie year, but just saying. Haley Deegan in 20th, Taylor Gray 21st, uh, was running like top five late. I guess he got involved in a wreck or something. Zane Smith 22nd, Brett Holmes 23rd, Timmy Hill had a great run going in 12th, and then he wrecked late, ends up 24th. Uh, Matt Benedetto 25th, Jake Garcia 26th, shame for both of those guys. They were running really good. Ryan Vargas 27th, uh, Johnny Sauter 28th, Chris Wright 29th, Lawless Allen 31st, Ty Majeski 30, uh, 30, sorry, Allen 30th, Ty Majeski 31st. Chase Party 32nd, Boyd 33rd, Kligerman 34th, Dawson Graham 35th, and Brennan Poole in last. Taking a look at the standings, Majeski and Zane Smith were tied coming into this race for the regular season mark, but now Zane is pulled ahead by nine in the regular season race. Zane, Corey Hein, Christian Eckes, Grant and Finger, Carson Osovar, Christian Eckes. And uh, yeah, those are your five drivers locked into the playoffs via wins right now. Uh, half the field is locked in on wins, and NASCAR.com hasn't filled these in, so I can't really tell you the rest of the points because they have not. There uh, says undefined in the in the points category, so that's fun. 51 is leading the owner standings, by the way. Manufacturer-wise, if this is updated, I believe it is. Um, Chevy has won five races this year. They lead Ford by 25 and Toyota by 30. Toyota five back Ford. Chevy five wins, Ford three. Toyota with just the one. And that, I believe, is it, ladies and gentlemen. If you want pretty ace coverage for the Goodyear 400, you can have that on the Below the Outline podcast here on YouTube and all major podcast platforms. Pretty show also out tonight for that. Coverage tomorrow and Sunday for the Xfinity and Cup races at Darlington Raceway. Hope you've had a great throwback NASCAR weekend so far. Happy Mother's Day to all the awesome moms out there, including my own. Um, and we will see you very soon. So like, subscribe, comment, share, email. It's below the yellow podcast at gmail.com. I'll see you guys later. I'm Samuel Sutch from the Spider Stand. God bless, peace out, bye, and subscribe.